Charmander is taped off and ready for paint. Now, this is gonna be the hard part. We wanna to try to make him shiny, either just like a metallic version or actually the shiny Pokemon. So we have to make a custom color. I have some a yellow gold that I use on the Infinity Gauntlet. And then I have this perfect orange for Charmander. And then if we need to mix it more, I have a crushed pearl. Uh, we have a gold pearl and then we have a fine white. So this is gonna be a long process of just adding in the gold and then start slowly mixing in the orange. We also have a silver here if we need it, but let's see what we can come up with. So let's first start off with putting the gold. I'm pretty much gonna probably use all of this because I don't have much left. And this is gonna be the main base of getting that shiny color. So we'll put all the gold in there. The last drop. All right, so this, gonna put that out of the way. Now, this is the scary part. I'm gonna mix a little bit of orange in there. So I'm literally gonna take it one little bit at a time. Cause that already. What do you think, more orange or? No, Gonna add some pearl in there. If a car person saw me using this pearl on a toy, they'd freak out because this stuff is actually kind of expensive. I don't know how expensive it is because I got it for free, but I always hear them saying, oh yeah, you want to add pearl, it's actually really ridiculous. So if you know how much this bottle costs, let me know. Should we go with the gold or the white? I'm going to try white too. We're going to try the white. Let's go ahead and just throw some in there. Ooh, that's a lot. All right, so this color is getting close, but I feel like we need to make it pop more, so we're gonna add a little bit of just pure yellow. I'm having to run all over my shop to find scrap paints that I have. I do have some yellow, so we're gonna throw this in there, just a little bit. Mustard. It does, it's gonna taste like mustard too. Do not eat paint, okay? I feel like it's sad that in this day and age, I have to say that after making a joke with all these ice cream liquors and such. You hear about the girl that pissed on the potatoes? Maybe. Now, we're getting close. Let's add a little bit more orange. I, I like the separation between them. I like them already. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Woo, it's hot out here. All right, so we have the color mixed pretty close to how we want it. I think that's gonna make a very shiny Charmander. There's a big difference between the actual color and the new color, so that's gonna look cool. So now we have to reduce this paint, put it in the detail gun, and start spraying. All right, so the gun covered really well. There's some spots that I can't get to with it, so I'm gonna switch to the airbrush. So he is finished with the paint coat. He's looking pretty good. That's actually like 
really close to the shiny color. I'm really digging it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let him dry. We're gonna come back, peel off all the tape, and then we're gonna clear coat him. All right, so I have this razor blade right here with a very fine tip, and I'm going to take off the tape. So you gotta be very careful and make sure that whatever you painted is very dry already. And try not to dig into the paint. Oh, he can see us now. tape off of them. Except... Except for his tail, because I don't want to clear over that. I want that to be how it originally was, because it looks really good. So he is ready for clear coat, and the, the pearl in there is really working well to make it shiny. You'll see it more with the clear coat. I don't know if it's going to get it on this camera. We need more light and some clear. All right, he is all cleaned up and ready for clear coat. I'm gonna use this clear coat right here. It is a wheel gloss clear coat from Duplicolor. It works really well, and I've used it on a few projects, and I think he's gonna make this guy look very shiny. Look at that, the clear coat is all done. He is super shiny. He is shiny, shiny. So now, the last step is to let it dry and then peel off the tape on the tail. And then he's gonna be all shiny with the translucent tail. Look at that, he looks good. He came out really well. Woo! All right, so take two. I had to run to the shop to get this razor blade, and I'm glad I did because a pipe had busted in my well house. So I had to fix that, but now we can continue taking off the tape on this fire tail. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast.